Well, what's up everybody? We're on the road, headed to Southern Ohio, super pumped. I got Derek with me, he just picked me up from the house. So uh, we got a, what, two and a half hour drive, three hour drive, probably after we stop and get something to eat, something to drink. And we're getting down there a little earlier than we thought. We're gonna get down there and do some scouting and try to find some spots. And we've got a ton of different spots marked out to look at and everything like that. But I'm pumped, how about you, Derek? Yeah, I can't wait, this is gonna be great. Yeah, it's going to be a learning experience. I've never been behind the bow. You know, usually I'm guiding people, so it's nice to finally get down to Southern Ohio and hunt. We're jumping on 79 right now. We're going to hit it down the road. So just stick with us and uh, make sure and uh, press that subscribe button over there at Ridge Raised Outdoors. Oh, what's up, everybody? I'm in the tree in Southern Ohio. The spot looks beautiful. I'm right in the pinch of a river. We got a winter wheat field out here. And I got a huge draw dumping down right in here into this field. And then right over here to my left, I got a huge ridge going up. It's a perfect pinch point. One of those spots a bow hunter dreams about getting in. It looks good. There's a heck of a trail coming right down here in front of me. Rubs and scrapes all in here on the river. Uh, we got Derek right down the river, probably 500 yards from me, sitting on another big trail. So we got this whole area pretty much covered. So I'm pumped. up everybody it's been tough here in Ohio I'm not gonna sugarcoat it at all but I ended up rattling in a pretty nice two and a half year old eight point decent little buck I think it's probably around 11 o'clock now maybe 12 and we've been trying to get in the tree and stay in the tree as much as we can so I'm gonna sit back and relax and enjoy the day it's beautiful it's in the 40s and nice southwest wind deer cast looks good so the deer should be moving so Stick with me. Well, once 
what's up? It is day four, I think. Yeah, it's midday. We've uh, been in the stand all day, me and Derek both today. It's been a beautiful day. This morning, I had a few young bucks cruising. We're just not seeing the mature deer yet. They're just not up, in, up on their feet, so. I think we're gonna try to stay a few more days extra, maybe two or three more days. We'll see if we can make that happen. That's the game plan. It's gotta pop off at any moment. There's supposed to be a front moving through Wednesday with some rain, and we're thinking that'll kick things off, so. I think I had a, like a two and a half year old nine point come through this morning. A buck with a lot of character. He had some kickers and stickers down off of his bases and stuff, so. I let him pass. He walked right under the stand and had a spike buck and a nubbin buck and then another nubbin buck come by. And I haven't had any phone service, so I hadn't talked to Derek to see how his day's going, but he went into a really good spot. So he was in a big draw where like four or five draws were all coming together. So I'm excited about this afternoon. I think I'm in the right spot. And I'm in between the bed and the food. We got standing corn and then there's white oak scattered all through here. So. Hopefully it'll happen. Let's uh, settle in and wait for the magic hour there at the last hour of light. Hopefully they'll move. They moved pretty early yesterday. I saw a deer movement from 2.30 to uh, about 6, so it was a good afternoon. So stick with me. down there. Oh. Yes, 
he's going down. He's going down. He went down right there. There he is, white belly up. Rolling down the hill. Yeah, baby. He's right there, got it done. Got it done. Yeah. He's not a stud, but we got one more day left here in Ohio, and I'm not gonna pass up a deer like that. Came right down the logging road right to me. That's a good buck. He's got a long dagger on one side. He's got three up on the other side. I think he's got a broke off brow, but he's an old mature deer. And that's what we came to Ohio for right there. Self filmed. I'm super pumped. He's down right over there. It's gonna be fun getting him out of here though. He's way down in this bottom. So I'm stoked, super stoked. Bucked out in Ohio, baby. You know what killed that deer? You know what killed that deer? Right here, Black Widow deer lures. Hot and ready, I had hot and ready out. And I've got some Dominator buck urine on a couple mock scrapes that I've made around this area. He came in, just fired up. Whew, got it done in Ohio. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. This buck was out cruising at 3.30 in the afternoon. Made a perfect shot, it looked like right in the heart. Holy smokes, he didn't go 50, 60 yards and fell on the side hill over there. I am stoked. Ridge raised outdoors, that's how we do it. Public land, Ohio. Oh, my hands are shaking. I'm excited. It's been a long time since I've killed a good buck with my bow. It's been like three years. I think I've been in a drought and in PA. I've had a tough time getting on mature deer. If I would have seen a deer like that in PA, he would have got stuck because that's an old deer. You can tell he's gone downhill, but he's got like a six inch, or probably like a 10 inch dagger on one side. He's not gonna score real good, but he is a cool old buck. Gotta thank the Lord, you know, my Lord and Savior for just letting me be able to do what I love and leading my life down a path like this and bringing a great woman into my life that'll put up with me, you know, kind of deal with me being gone all the time. Thank you, honey, I love you. Our kids are at home, you know, she's at home with the kids by herself, so it just means a lot, you know. She sacrifices a lot so I can play, so it, you know, it really is we're just out here doing something we love and playing in the woods and chasing these giant mature deer, you know. It's something I'm passionate about, something I love, and something all the guys at Monster Game Management and all the guys at Ridge Raced Outdoors just absolutely ate up with. We love chasing public land deer well Derek's here to give me a hand we're gonna go track this buck he didn't go far I saw him go down so I'm super excited Derek's here to give me a hand we got an all uphill drag though but it'll be worth it you know public land Ohio got it done maybe Derek could come in here tomorrow afternoon it's a really good spot the deer are really funneling through here so uh, we're gonna get after this deer well we're, we're gonna get up here and uh, find the arrow I see the luminot glowing right up there he must have just crashed through all this stuff. Yeah, he went down through here. That's what it was. He went through all this thick stuff. There's the arrow. Look at that baby soaked. Let's see that rage. Oh, yeah. Cut on impact. Both blades still look good. I'll stick it in the ground right here. Good blood right here, Ruth. Really. Yeah, good blood. Look at that. Oh, wow. Blowing out of lungs. Here's something here. He was flying at this point. I mean, running as fast as he could. The dead Look run. There. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's up pretty high. <laughs> he must have jumped right here. Yeah. That's pretty cool. 
Little board splatter. He's right there. Yeah. He's right there. Right there. So he ran up on the hill and made a circle. You see him? Yeah, here, hang on with me. Here he is. Let's go look at yeah, him. Yeah, let's the go horns. check him out. He rolled down the hill here. Tank of a body. <laughs> Hold me back. Oh, he's stiff. Stiff, stiff, stiff. Oh. Oh. He's what I thought he was, just an old mature buck. Oh man, I can't even get him up, he's so stiff. He's been laying here a few hours, but look at that body, he's 200 plus easy. Yeah. Old deer. Well here he is everybody. Look at this big dagger right here. I'm gonna say it's 12 inches long, maybe longer. But then he's got a regular side here with two up and a busted off route time. He's got it busted off a little bit. Ohio public land, I can't pass up a deer like this. And it's our uh, last day, second to last day. We got one more day tomorrow, so hopefully Derek can get it done. But we got a heck of a drag job, and he's yeah. huge. I bet he's 200 plus. He's a big old body deer, old joker. He's got a little dagger right here on the front, just a small point, about an inch long. But he's beautiful. DIY public land, Ohio. Don't get much better. He's pretty stiff because he's been sitting for a while. I shot him at 3:30 this afternoon, so. We're gonna get him gutted and get him out of here. Here he is, we got him out, we got him up here. He stayed in the woods all night last night and we let him hang. It was nice and chilly. He's a beautiful buck. Got the big dagger on this side. You can see my hands, it's probably about nine inches there, eight inches. So he's got another three or four there on that dagger. But he's a beautiful, beautiful buck. It's uh, We're lucky to be able to come down here in Ohio. Just gotta thank God and thank our families and just, just everybody that's been a part of this. Just. Oh, without people helping us and letting us do stuff like this, we would never get it done. And we were struggling, and all it took was just an instant. And this buck came out cruising at 3:30 in the afternoon, and I was able to get a perfect shot on it. I'm super pumped to have this buck here. So, just uh, stick with us here at Ridge Raised Outdoors. Well, what's up, everybody? Uh, Derek was in the stand and I was out doing some glassing and I found a giant buck bedded down We're about to go try to put a stock on him right now. We're gonna try to figure out where he's at I saw him with a hot doe going into this big CRP down here So we're gonna go in here and try to find him. Hopefully we can get on him If not, we got a lot of ground over here on this other side of the property We can break down and maybe find another buck So we're gonna try to do a little spot and stalking this afternoon. I think with the bucks chasing and stuff yeah. That's our best bet best option. Okay, well, we're gonna get in here and get after him
couple bucks in there. I knew there was a couple bucks in there. I think he hit the other one. Because I didn't see its tail in the air. Its tail was tucked. Where you at, Derek? There's Derek. He looks sick. He doesn't look happy. I hope he didn't miss. down <sighs> well I got down there took my shoes and half my clothes off stalked in I was gonna try to go on them straight on but then it was making too much noise so I snuck down around and I didn't know that they were walking this way I was I knew you kept pointing over in that corner that they're coming they that were way coming down I didn't know they were that close to the corner I was behind a big bush I was gonna try to get on the other side and then sit there and wait for them Right behind the bush, the doe started blowing. I was like, oh crap, I could see the buck. He was at 45 yards, didn't have a shot. I could see his head, he was just glued on me the whole time. <sighs> I don't know, I probably, we probably had a stare down for, I'm gonna say at least 10 or 15 minutes between me, the doe, and her, and then she'd take like five steps and then like look at, look at me and then she'd pretend to take another step and look right back at me, oh. I hate when they do that. They're trying I was to getting get you to cramps in my arms because I was sitting in an awkward position. You've got an arrow in him now, right? He just, thinks it's a little high. So she finally crossed. She crossed the the opening there at 35 yards. And I saw him coming, so I drew back, and I think he saw me. He cut up five yards approximately and cut across. I had her ranged at 36, so I held my 40 on him, and I was really steady. I don't know. He might have not been Ducked. quite five he was yards or something. Up. He might, I don't know. I don't know if I ranged it quite wrong or something. Okay, well, let's, I guess let's circle around and see if we see him on that field over there. Yeah, I'd say that's probably There was the best two option. bucks in there. Another one giant ran out after you made the shot. Two giants. trip home from southern Ohio but we made it home it feels good to be home but it was an awesome trip to southern Ohio uh, Derek just left so I just wanted to touch base and kind of let everybody know what happened there and just uh I ended up getting on that big buck and ended up getting a perfect shot and it was an awesome hunt I just couldn't pass that big buck up he's a big nice gnarly buck with that big dagger but unfortunately uh Derek's buck we weren't able to find we tracked blood and it only went about 20 or 30 yards from when we found first blood and we lost it so it was a it was a tough deal it was Derek was sick we were upset but we ended up uh, staying an extra day and just doing a cavity search and looking really everywhere we could and uh, didn't end up finding him so it, it's part of it we think he hit it in the spine and just wasn't enough to drop him or hurt him or do anything so we're hoping hopefully he'll live but we're definitely going to be headed back down next year and hopefully some more of the guys can go. So just uh, stick with us here at Ridge Raised Outdoors. We're going to have some more videos coming out from PA. We're going to be hitting the woods pretty hard the next couple weeks here. It should be getting good. So hopefully I can get a buck down or one of the guys on the team can get a buck down. Uh, I know Kurt's got a couple big bucks he's after and so do some of the other guys. So just uh, stick with us and uh, be looking out for some more episodes and make sure to punch that subscribe button.